This must be Blackreach. I've read the legends, but I never thought it was real. The stories hardly do it justice. Perhaps one day I'll have an opportunity to explore it more fully. For now, we have work to do. Are you still with me, my friend? Ah, the Keystone. What is it, and how is it connected to that Dwarven structure? Why are they so important to Rada and Lady Belain? Perhaps they seek to harness some sort of Dwarven sorcery? Well, regardless, we can't allow them to achieve their goal. Yes, but we need to proceed with caution. We don't know the purpose of the Keystone, and we don't know what they plan to do with it. That said, we are not without our own talents. We can overcome any obstacles and find a way forward. We always do. I'll meet you across the river. Together we'll find a way to enter that ruin. Seeing Rada again. It reopened many old wounds. He wasn't always the villain. At least, I like to think he wasn't. Ah, a fool's hope is a dangerous thing. Conflicted. I suppose you could say that. We were friends once, partners, in a great and noble undertaking. And then rather changed. Or maybe it was me. Now who can say? He betrayed what we believed in, and then he died. Or at least, I thought he did. I'll meet you outside the ruin, my friend. There you are. This is where Rada and Lady Belaine entered the structure, but I can't find any way to open the doors. I suspect this may be why they needed the keystone. Ah, good question. Let's look around. Not all of the ruin remains intact. Portions have crumbled over the ages. Perhaps we can find a path through the rubble. Just be cautious. I've seen both constructs and shadowy creatures prowl in this ruin. The constructs are dwarven and expected. The shadows... Some sort of beings made of inky darkness, quite unsettling, and potentially dangerous. Something unusual has taken hold of this place. The door is clearly blocked, and that strange energy... Wait, is there something on the floor? That parchment appears relatively fresh and intact. What does it say? The Library of Arkzan. Hmm, interesting. I assume a Dwarven library houses more than simply books. Anything else of pertinence written there? A dark relic. Mm, that sounds ominous. And quite likely related to the darkness that Arana sensed, and I now feel as well. That could be the source of these shades. Anything else? The void portals. A dark relic resonating power. And strange shades. We can't let any of this fall into Rada and Lady Belaine's hands. Let's see what we can find on the other side of this structure. Not 
the slow decay of time. Something terrible happened here. Strange looking shard. Another note in the strange shard. What do you think, my friend? Interesting. The shards remind me of something torn from the darkest corner of oblivion. As unsettling as that object is, I think we should hold on to it. Especially if we can use it to navigate the void portals. I suggest you try to use a shard to propel yourself through one of the void portals. The risks are significant, but if we can turn these strange pockets of energy to our advantage, we have to attempt it. What? Well done, my friend. Look up there, between the columns. You see that portal? Above you. Try to make a connection to that portal. Oh, this is... Impressive. This place. I had no idea. I knew the dwarves created some magnificent structures, but this is amazing. And look, more of those void portals in the higher portions of this. The only word that comes to mind is... Cathedral. Until we find the source, I can only speculate. We need to locate it. Learn more about this energy, and determine the true nature of these shades. If Radha and Lady Belaine can harness this dark energy, I hate to imagine what they could accomplish. The longer I spend in close proximity, the more I pick up from the shades. I sense fragmented thoughts and raw emotion. They remind me of pure rage and unbridled pain. Perhaps exploring the library will yield some answers. Shades. I sense their presence in every dark corner. Keep going. The path ends here, but there's a door up above. We need to find a way to reach it. path ahead blocked, our only option appears to be the door above us. However, I sense something on the other side. I smell oil. I hear the whine of ancient gears. Proceed with caution, my friend. Mm, an excellent idea. You might have to get creative to reach the very top.
appears to be some sort of containment apparatus. And there's a shade trapped at the center. Another sheet of parchment? Might that be another observation by the Grey Host Pentarch? What secrets does it reveal this time? Of course. Despite all the knowledge he gained, he made a mistake. That trapped shade. That's the Grey Host Pentarch. We should attempt to free him, if not out of mercy, then to determine what he knows about the dark energy and its source. Very well. Manipulate the crystals and see if you can set the tortured shade free. Just exercise caution, my friend. I would hate to see you trapped within the apparatus alongside the Grey Host Pentarch. That's it. Keep repositioning the crystals to reflect the energy. crystals in all four corners of the room. platforms.
did it! Quickly now, question the shade before it dissipates. Such anguish, such pain. Souls trapped in Molak Ball's realm wither over centuries, but this dark heart, it stripped that creature of its vitality almost instantly. I wish it had told us more. We could have been more coherent. Yes, but apparently for different purposes. Unstable breaches in the fabric of reality, imploded chambers, trapped shades, Everything points to some terrible dwarven experiment that went astray. This dark energy is clearly powerful and dangerous. As the Shade implied, they each seek the Dark Heart for a different reason. I can only imagine what Rodda would do with such power. As for Belaine, he called her the vessel that never fills. A curious description. Regardless, we must find them. It must have something to do with the sky above, or perhaps constellations such as those that led us to Bethazel. In any event, it's evident that the dark current flowing through this place traps souls and twists them into these shades. Perhaps it does possess life of a sort. Certainly it holds a vast amount of power, power enough that we can't allow Rada or Lady Belaine to get their hands on it. Come, my friend. Let's continue our hunt. Watch for signs of the Grey Host. Those point us towards Brother and the Of course! And Rada and Belaine, we found them. Let's listen in. The orrery of Arthsand. The key to our salvation. It has stood here unmoving for nearly 3,000 years. You're sure the keystone will power it, Belaine? It must be ready when the time comes. The keystone is only part of the puzzle. As you agreed, we must also awaken the Dark Heart. I gave you my word, Belaine. The Greyhost will make your prophecy come true. Mm. Reach witch signs and portents can be tiresome, but they are necessary for this. The Dark Heart must beat again. And it will, Belaine. Soon. With the Keystone, we can come and go as we please. Now. 
Let us leave this place. We still have much to do before we restart the orrery. Reach witch prophecies. What fates are you tempting now, Rudder? As we speculated, the Keystone does more than open doors. Rada and Lady Belaine plan to use it to restart the orrery. The question remains, why? And what role does this dark heart play in their schemes? I'm not sure. We know the Grey Host has reached witches among its ranks. Perhaps a local coven has some role in all this. We need to speak with Arana. To learn about reach witch prophecies, we might as well go to an expert. Without the Keystone or more of those void portals, we can't get down into the Orrery Chamber. I'll stay here and try to pick up their trail. I need you to go to Rebels Retreat and see what you can learn from Arana. we acquired a good use, you lazy goat herders. I wondered if you were going to return, Harrier. The worms and ghosts wouldn't stop whispering to me, talking about dark doings and stirring evil. But they were deadly silent about you. Did you catch up to Lady Belaine? The Dark Heart, you say? There's a tale as old as the ridge with an evil heart at its center. Like most rich stories, it ends bloody. Belaine might have slipped your net, but we know what she's on about. Thanks to you, this hunt isn't over yet. <laughs> 